Michelle with two L's. And I'm Natalie the Red. And we are Force of Light Entertainment. And we're here today to give you our review, our kind of reactionary thoughts to the new Warner Brothers movie starring Timothy Chalamet, Wonka. Before we get started, though, if you have not yet subscribed to Force of Light Entertainment and you enjoy movie reviews, you enjoy movie reactions, what are you waiting for? Come on. Yes, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also, give this video a thumbs up. For those of you who are new, the way we do our reviews is we give you our initial thoughts, what we like or slash love, what we didn't like, and then we rate the movie. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and get started. And I will say, too, this this movie, I guess, was uh, directed by uh, the, the same guy who did the, I think his last name's King, the same guy who did the Paddington movies. Okay. Um, I've never seen the Paddington movies. But people I've seem seen the first one. People seem to really like them. It was cute. Yeah. Yes, people seem to really like those movies. Uh, so now let me give you my initial thoughts of Wonka. Uh, my initial thoughts sitting there in this movie, and again, we just got out of the theater, so these are very this is fresh. Th these are very reactionary. This is raw right here. This is basically a reaction, like yes. walking out of the theater type reaction. But my initial thoughts were first word that would come to mind is charming. And then the other thing that I, I the other thing that I thought of is this is the type of movie that Disney used to make. Yeah, that, that's that's a that's a good point, Shell. That we've kind of been missing in in the movie landscape lately. But those are my initial thoughts. I'll move into what I liked a second. Natalie, what were your initial thoughts? Uh, charming was a great word to use for this movie. I just I really. It could be a little funky at times. Yeah, but, well, but that goes with Wonka. But, I mean, well, yes, it's, it's, it goes with Wonka. But overall, like, I had a good time. Like, I, yes. I just, I enjoyed it. You know, so just first impression. Yes, and I, I, we should say that. Of course, I think that kind of comes with the name Wonka. This is a prequel to the beloved Willy Wonka and the Chocolate Factory. Uh, and, and let's move on. Let me tell you. Actually, that goes into one of the things I liked. Uh, in a world where there are a, a lot of boring prequels i think we've been worn out with prequels right this movie somehow is a prequel but yet kind of totally its own thing yes. and yet yeah. there, and even though it's a prequel there is so much creativity and originality yes. in this movie and that was one of those two words or two of the things that i really liked about this movie it was very it felt so original and there was so much creativity in this movie um, I thoroughly enjoyed both elements. I feel like in particular, as the movie went on... Uh, you kind of have to get in the vibe of the movie. It you, takes a minute. You do, but I feel like it was. It really wasn't cookie cutter. No. In some, way, in some ways, it's like this very family... And it is. like, like That's the thing. It's super family friendly. Yes. But at the same time, I think it kind of took chances and with humor and different things that, you know, it, to be a family film, like kind of, it, it was just... I really enjoyed it. You're saying it. it's not a fam it's not a boring family film. It's not film. a boring family <laughs> no. film. That's what I'm trying to say. It's definitely not. There's a lot of humor in this movie. Uh Hugh Grant plays an Oopa Loompa and you enjoy I could have used even a little more Hugh Grant to be honest. I really enjoyed him as the Oopa Loompa. I enjoyed yeah. Hugh Grant. Um I I had to say that I out of all the things I've seen Timothy Chalamet in, I this like really made me appreciate him as an actor. Because I feel like he often plays kind of a drab jerk, it feels like, in movies. But in this movie, he is so good at getting across the the childlike innocence of he Wonka. Does. And it, and I just, like, he just could relay that innocence in such a way that it was he was just so charming every he time just, he was on camera. And I don't, you know, I don't know if uh, men necessarily want to be this word, but it's a good word. But he's just like, he's just so adorable. And I he mean was that, adorable in this movie. I mean that in the most innocent sense of the word. Like, he's just adorable. He was. Like, he just wanted to pinch his little cheeks. He little, was. Little Timmy. And he did great as Wonka. Uh, again, just had that innocence and that charm and that dreaming attitude. He was able to get that across. And another thing I really appreciate about this movie, also Olivia Coleman does her role very well. They give her some really bad fake oh, teeth. Oh, right, right. She yes. did, she was great as kind of a villain esque she just type goes character. There, you know, she I, fully, I like that about her performance. She fully went there. Yeah. She's like, I'm embracing this role. <laughs> These for, horrible for, teeth. With all I can. Yes. I, I love it. She did a great job. So the acting across the board, pretty much everyone I feel did their role uh, quite well. 
And I would have to say the production value I thought was excellent. Like you're, the visuals, the visuals, yes. like the, the, the city they're in, everything just looked like, like, Ooh, all oh, like everything was very visually stunning. Uh, I think in this movie. And yet it's all really just like a fantasy, like yes. the whole movie kind of. Absolutely. Know? Like a, like a good dream. Yeah. Like is it, kind of how right. this movie, this movie is. And like a, is. a children's tale, you know, almost yes. like you'd read in a, a fairy book or something, you know, yes. a fairy tale type story. Well, and that's why I said, it's kind of like the movie, this is the movie Disney used to make right. where, where it it's so family friendly. Um, I believe in fact, in this entire movie, uh, there is one cuss word and uh, it, yeah. It's, and I it's, didn't even catch that It's one. not a big one. Like this movie almost could have been G is what it I'm really, trying to say. It could have. And yet even being at that PG and could have really been G, um, it it will keep you even as an adult entertained the entire time. Again, as Natalie said, some of the humor really lands. I, I thought it was, it was just a very entertaining, charming movie. It was uh, really yeah. a, across the board, and and one of those movies that's good for kids because it's it's about kind of going after your dreams. Again, those movies we used to get as a kid, and I just think that's that's just a timeless message. It is. It really is. And speaking of message, this is a movie that doesn't try to push a message. It doesn't. Other all. than right. a message, any kid or any person could get behind of of basically, if you have a dream, go after it with all that you have. Yeah, because uh, that really is the story. Wonka wants to be the chocolatier. And he's got these, there's a chocolatier, almost mob like people that are trying to stop him from his dream. And, and to, just even like the antagonist in this yes. and the uh like the bad things that would happen sometimes, or death by, you know, the chocolate uh, chocolate. Everything's chocolate somehow <laughs> is like the ultimate big bad or something, you know. And so even like those elements are kept so childlike yes. like I said you know almost so it, it's just it's cute and fun and kind of creative in that way or like they they have bribed a clergy member and his great sin is he accepted the chocolate so <laughs> you know chocolate is always used in this movie in a very humorous uh light-hearted way uh but yeah I th that was kind of my positives uh as far as any negative uh I would have to say because this is a musical and I enjoyed the music, but the only critique I would have is it's not like there's a like a banger in this that I'm going to go jam out to my car like after I leave. Right. But but with that being said, the music fit the movie. And I would have to say that I my my favorite probably because I know it is kind of the original tune like yes. that he's saying like there really is something sweet and just you know, it's kind of one of those like over the rainbow type songs are just kind of sweet and uh, about that little tune, you know? Yeah. Oh, I, I did enjoy that. The, the one from the original. But like your magic. And again, when I say critique about the music, I all the music fit the movie very well. I'm just saying it's not the time. It's not like the greatest showman where I'm going to crank it out of oh, my car, right. which I mean, you know, yeah, that, that's like, all I mean by that. It was I still, still good to from time to time. Yes, yeah, it's, it's a great soundtrack. <laughs> but but in kind of like the greatest showman that came out around Christmas and was a very shoot for the stars type movie and a great family movie. That's what this is. Uh, this to me, it, it really is a fantastic. If you are looking for a movie to go see around Christmas with your family, this is the movie you're looking for. Uh, I don't even think you really Look no further. Yes. I don't feel like you even really need to have seen Willy Wonka uh, to appreciate this movie. Cause again, it's very much its own thing in its own way. It just uses the character of, of Willy Wonka. Um, but this is such a kind of a heartwarming, charming uh, comedy musical that uh, I, it's definitely a great family movie. And I, I hope people go out and see it this Christmas because again, we, we kind of need movies like this in our society yeah. that are so innocent and yet so like and so dream light. big, so lighthearted. So yes. light. Like he, they make him sort of face adversity, but at the same time, somehow keep the tone just, you know, so light, you know, and, and like you said, I just think we, we need stuff like that. Sometimes we do we, where it's just nothing's ever too bad or really serious, even if it's implied or whatever. Yes. We absolutely need movies like that. So that, that, the, me saying that they don't have a this is me type song in the movie is is my biggest critique. I mean, I mean, I, and again, the music fits the the movie and I enjoyed it all, you know, along with the movie. Natalie, do you have any critiques? 
I don't think so. I mean, some of the humor, but that's like that's with, with any anything. Like, like, yeah, okay. it's like some of it, you know, I was like, okay, that didn't quite work, but a lot of it did. And just she cracked up a few times. I, I laughed I throughout it. I, I really, I genuinely did. I enjoyed it. Uh, okay, so I think sometimes even just the camera angles. Can I just say on a positive note? Did you notice that, like, just the way they do somebody, somebody's face? It was like, yes, it really was the camera. You know, just a camera shot that would add comedy. You know, a couple times. I'm glad even stuff like that. I'm glad you remind me of that because I actually thought the cinematography was really excellent in this movie. Yeah, the way I agree. the way right. that everything was shot, I thought it added to the charm of this movie like 100. percent It did. Yeah. Um. So yeah. Oh yeah. That, that's a good reminder. But yeah, that's kind of our thoughts. So what do I, we rate the movie? Five, uh, we, we rate on a hoot system. Five being the <laughs> max level of hoots, the max level of enjoyment. Uh, for a family movie, I'm going to give this five out of five hoots because, I, again, there was originality, creativity. It was just so happy the entire time and a fantastic family movie for people to go see. Uh, and again, just, just such innocence in this movie, but like innocence doesn't mean devoid of creativity and, right. and good. And that's, and, and that's, that's the what I enjoyed about this so it much. It doesn't have to mean that. No. That if you have like a fun story and creativity, it's just, it's nice to know you can be truly be entertained by something that could be rated G. Yes. You know, it's, just, it's just a good feeling. It's yes. Yes. And I, for the soul, just nothing bad in something sometimes. Yes. And I just thought that I thought the production of this movie was just incredible. I really do from, from the singing, the dancing, the clothes, the, uh, that is everything on it. Uh, the, again, the buildings they're around, everything was just so charming and, and made the movie uh, as kind of magical as it kind of is. So right, I, right. I give it a five out of five hoots. Natalie, what do you give it? It is the Christmas season, <laughs> you know, so I'm going to go ahead and give it five hoots as well. Yes. Yeah, so, so that went five out of five, uh, again, for a family friendly, uh, movie. If, if you're looking for that, look no further then Wonka uh, out in theaters officially today. And of course, wide release tomorrow. Uh, definitely go check it out. But uh, what do you guys think of Wonka? Those of you who have seen it, are you thinking about seeing it? Have we convinced you to go see it? Uh, share your thoughts below. And if you have not yet, go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Also give this video a thumbs up. And as always, ladies and gentlemen, remember to, to be, be a force, force of life. life. All right, bye guys. Bye.